Alright, so a planning video. How am I gonna go about doing that? Welcome back, everyone. I'm Witch Hazel, and today I promised to go through my new year planning with you in my planner. So, unfortunately, I have realized that my glass top desk is really a pretty lousy backdrop for showing you my planner. So I have to change things around a little bit, but I think I have a basic idea of what I want to show you. So first I will show you what I have been doing, which is this right here. It has been a bullet journal. I am going to change that up a little in the new year. So I will show you what I have now. And then I will do what? <laughs> then I think I will show you how I'm setting up my goals, my changes I want to make. So remember yesterday I was talking about choosing one's battles. So I don't want to make any huge goals or deadlines up front. So yes, without getting into too much detail yet, I think I'm going to turn the camera around and get started. All right, my friends, let's see what we can do with this setup here. So this is what has been my planner for the past year. This is a Cafe Note B6 Slim from Nanami Paper. And I absolutely love it. There's still some, I think, some blank pages in the back here, but this is Tomoe River Paper, however you pronounce that, which is my absolute favorite. The only thing I do not like in this notebook is this grid size. It is a 3.7 millimeter grid, and that is a little bit on the small side, even for me, who normally writes small. So this has been an issue in my plans for the coming year. But that is neither here nor there. We will get started with what this looks like. I did just my favorite little quote over here from a song. And then I always like to have my forward planning for the year ahead. I did six months and six months and I did a little mini index for lists, most of which um, ended up not really necessary. Anyway, and then we go straight into my monthly. Now you will see I did not really use my monthly for a whole heck of a lot and therefore by the end of the year over here um, we get very minimal. Here, here it is. Okay, so by the end of the year, October, I believe this was the first month I did it this way. I just went to a one-page month. And I attempted putting some goals on the other side. But before October, for most of the year, what I had done was set up my weeks as so with all of my days and I would add in all the things that I was doing. Check marks are my regular work in the morning. And then I have daily pages, meaning I had just written the day and the tasks and just did the whole bullet journal thing. And that was how things were for a good amount of time. I did try a little bit of color coding here and there. Um, I did whenever necessary. I took notes, did journaling, whatever I felt like doing at the time, and that was fine. The only problem was, or the big problem for me, I do not like having to always draw in the months and the weeks. So that was an issue for me. I do like the dailies in here. I liked the dailies that I had and just listing out the tasks. However, I then ran into another problem which I'm going to have to discuss in more detail in another video, which was a rather long bout of depression and realizing that my daily system I had was no longer working. My lists were just getting longer and longer. I wasn't completing things. 
So then you will see actually a change in this bullet journal and I am going to find that right quick so I can show you. All right, that happened right about here in September. I decided to try a different method in which I was doing more scripting and gratitude in my dailies and you'll notice I gave a page per day at this point. So while, well, and I also started doing full reviews and plans. While I did really enjoy that, there are certain aspects of it I want to keep in the new year. Um, there was a lot of it I didn't like. A page per day is generally way too much for me. Some days I take up maybe only a little portion of the page, some days I don't write at all, and there are some days I need two or three pages. So that part didn't really stick with me, but there were other aspects of the scripting in there that I did like, that I am going to keep doing, and I have plans for another video to show you that. All right, so what am I doing this year? Let's put that aside. And over here I have, I don't know if you've seen this one before or just the, the blue one, but this is my Chic Sparrow B6 Slim cover, leather cover. And in here I have a Jibun Techo. Now I, you have seen me in one of these before. I had the regular Jibun Techo, I loved it but I decided that there was too much extra fluff and stuff in that planner. There were all sorts of extra pages, uh, reference pages that I didn't want or need. Well, this year I saw that they came out with this, which unfortunately they made a little bit taller, which is, I don't like, and I don't like this cover because it bends up, but I like what they did otherwise. They got rid of all of those superfluous um, pages and all they have now is the forward planning, which I love, love this page. I'm going to be using this for tracking my word count in my writing. And then it has my dream 2021. I haven't decided what I'm going to use this for. I kind of want to use it for goals, but these will basically be the same as the intentions I put on the wishing tree the other day. So I'm still going to think about that but it's meant to be goals and actions toward those goals. So I like that, I may use it. And then it has list of, and it has several pages, multiple pages of lists, which I'm not sure what I'll use all of them for, maybe some video planning, blog planning, that sort of thing. But the most important list I have is this one right here. This is my needs and wants list. I will have to do a separate video more in depth on this, but this has completely saved my financial life, <laughs> having this list. So that's that. And then from there, it goes straight into the months, all of the months. Now I did not entirely like the changes they made to this because it used to come all the way down and now it's a portion and then they have a tracker down at the bottom and I am notorious for not using trackers I'm just not good at them I don't remember to keep them so unless I can find a better better use for this it's going to be wasted space but I have a plan and then over here a little list which would be good for monthly goals from the months they go through all the months first and then we go into weeks whoops sorry guys weeks so and let me show you blank weeks. This is what they look like. And what I have been doing, I tend to set up my weeks in blocks. So it's very noticeable where my work week is. I work Wednesday through Sunday, and then I have Monday, Tuesday off. So I'll talk a little bit more about that, maybe. <laughs> we shall see. But that's how I'm, I'm setting up the weeks. And then it goes through the entire year until you get to the end it has some graph paper now the only thing i do not like in this setup is that this graph is even smaller than this graph it is less than 3.7 i think it's like 3.5 
uh, millimeter graph, something hideously stupid like that. So these pages are basically useless to me, especially for dailies. So my plan for this year is I like having the months and weeks already printed. That's perfect. And then I want to get either make or get another booklet here. Probably not this one because this is a little bit too thick. I think it just, it, it no longer lays flat once you're at the end. You kind of, it that bothers me. So I may get something else just for the dailies and have my monthly and weekly here. Although, just in case you're curious, I was putting this in the back here, just like so. And then it does actually close up really nicely. And yeah, that works out great for me. So now let's get to the next part, which is actually planning out my year. Okay, so moving back over to the monthly spreads here. And for anyone who, like me, is a pen and paper enthusiast, these are the pens I'm using most often these days. This is my tried and true Twisby Eco, and it's got a Sailor Shikiori ink in it. I can't remember the specific one, but these inks are based on the seasons, and this was kind of the fall-winter one. And I really like it. It's a nice dark uh, blue-black. So this one I've been using for a while, and this is brand new to me. I love it. This is a Twisby Mini, er, and I can't remember the rest of the details, but it was rose gold and white, and I had to have it, and isn't it pretty? I love it. <laughs> um, and this one also, oh wait, no, this one is no longer the blue black. This is the Shikiori uh, blue black. This one is another of that same group of inks, but it is the cherry blossom one. I, I will link all of these things in their proper names below, but this is the cherry blossom one and I got just a sample, so that's that. Moving on. I have decided that since I don't really use the monthlies in my calendar for much, much of anything, that this will be my kind of business section for my uh, writing and publishing because I do have a lot of things I need to do with that. So you can already see I sent out advanced reviews here. Um, or I set it up here, they were due here, I have free days going on Amazon for another book, I have, and now I do have For Witch Hazel here, I have a few of the videos listed because I knew I wanted to do them. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to keep track of basically my editorial calendar. And then at the bottom, one of the things I thought I'd try here, is I have newsletter stuff that I need to keep track of for my publishing business. So that includes updating a sales page and promotions page. So that right now is what I have listed here. And that is what I plan to continue having here if it works. You'll notice some other things I have listed. Oh, not there, here, here and here. This relates to my lunar hair care schedule. Again, I promised a different video on that. I will get into the details of what all these things are, but basically I wash my hair on Sundays. I know this, this isn't gonna, going to change. And because of that, I just put in here what I want to do on each Sunday. Basically, I want to start doing a little bit more with my hair in, in terms of masks, hair masks, to try and improve the quality of my hair a little bit because my hair is very dry. So because I know that, then I have gone through and added that in to every month. I have also added in when I plan to trim my hair. So you know I just trimmed my hair for the solstice. And where's the equinox? Here's the equinox. I have another trim there and then the following solstice and equinox. So I put those at each of the quarters. 
And then for each month, I also have intentions written down here. So you'll note that's right next to the new moon because this notebook, this planner is Japanese. So the timing is a little bit off, but for me here, my new moon would be the night before or the day before. So this is when I would create those new moon intentions and wishes that will go on my wishing tree, which I've mentioned earlier. So all of these things have definite times that they happen. And so they are easy to plan out ahead of time. That's why I've put them in here. For other things, so for example, business goals, writing goals, anything like that, that's a little bit more iffy. So I might put some things in pencil, but basically I don't want to plan out my entire year in advance for those things. But I do want to try and at least plan by quarter. I've done this before with more or less success, it depends. And so that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to look at what I want to achieve for a given quarter and put down possibly some, some action steps. But remember, I don't want to create actions that are going to be totally different from my everyday routine as it is now because I know that's going to be too difficult for me to follow and to maintain. So I'm going to start looking into the small things I can do to make those changes. And as I incorporate those, I will give you updates on those. All right, and then my weeks, let me find a clear week. As mentioned, I do blocks for work. And there's really not much, so my week is where I live. This is my everyday here. And this tells me what's happening when. I may put up at the top my meal plans if I make any, I'm very bad at that. But the main thing that I track here aside from my work schedule and appointments is I will usually put down, you see these numbers here, I will put down if I wore my corset and how long. I will also mark down, although I didn't do it here, oh wait, I did, all these red numbers. So I do keep track of my menstrual cycle. But other than that, there's really not much I put on here aside from that. My daily tasks, these spaces are way too small, in my opinion, <laughs> for my daily tasks. I do have a few things. If I know that I need to do a specific task on a specific day, I will put it here as a reminder, if nothing else, because when I put it into my dailies here, um, it's a little bit harder to do forward planning. I can make a note, but if it's for today and it's coming up a week from now, then I have to continually move it each time and that's too much effort. So I will put those things here and I will either look here in addition to my daily or I will transfer it onto the daily if I feel like it, but that's how I deal with daily tasks. All right, so that is the gist of my planning. Not a whole lot to it at the moment, but that's kind of by design. And as we talked about yesterday, I don't want to put a massive amount of stuff in my planner already at the beginning of the year and then just basically set myself up to fail. So all I really wanted to show you with this was what I'm using, my setup for planning, and where I'm putting the different aspects of my life. So it's basically business in the monthly, me, my work schedule in the weekly, and then the day-to-day -day every, the day-to-day -day little stuff in the dailies and I think as I make those small changes I talked about yesterday I'm going to update you with additional videos I already have a quasi idea for an updated morning routine because my schedule has really been terrible for that so I want to show you what my plans are for that 
and uh, someone recently commented asking about that so but that's coming up tomorrow I am going to go through last year's cards these were my kind of cards my inspirational cards for the year I have kept them the entire year in my planner in the little front pocket and I'm going to say goodbye to these and I am going to introduce you to this year's cards and what all they mean for me I think they correlate really nicely with this past year's cards so that's what we've got coming up. Thank you very much for joining me. And I don't think I've done the spiel in a while. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I will see you again tomorrow. Happy Yuletide and blessed be everyone.